welcome to Bonita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to be making for you today is blueberries and cream trifle. Today we're going to do something special. Um, in order to make our blueberries and cream trifle, we need blueberries. So I'm going to ask you to join me um, to go pick some blueberries. So let's go. Hi, thank you for joining me out here today on our blueberry grounds here in Newfoundland. It's a little bit foggy and a little tiny bit raining, but it's a beautiful day for picking berries. What I'm going to do is pick a, uh, not a full bowl of berries, part bowl, because I'm going to take it back to our place and we're going to make some blueberry trifle. Okay, so just a few more berries I need and then we'll take them back to our place. All right, we got our berries picked now. We'll take them back to my place and let's go get started on our blueberry trifle. Now that was fun. Now we'll get our blueberries all cleaned and ready to make our trifle. I'm just going to put some water on my blueberries now to start to clean them. So I'll just turn that on. Um, and uh, while I'm waiting for uh, some water to go into to my blueberries, I'll talk to you a little bit about what other ingredients we need to use. Okay, I got my blueberries washed and I got them strained, got my hands washed. So what I'm going to do now is uh, talk to you a little bit about um, the ingredients, which is uh, angel food cake. You could make it yourself or you can buy it already made. Um, so we're, we're going to start by cutting the angel food cake into cubes. And this is going to be um, as the base of our trifle. And when I say cubes, you know, you just need small pieces so you can continue doing that. And also what we're going to do while we're, uh, before we get started on making the cream, I'm going to start my blueberries boiling because we need to make a blueberry sauce. It's almost like blueberry jam, but we're going to be putting cornstarch in it to thicken it. Okay, so for our blueberry sauce, which is going to be one of the layers in our in our trifle is two cups of fresh or frozen blueberries and of course we did fresh because we went and picked them we got a one quarter cup of water cold water is fine two tablespoonfuls of sugar half a, a tablespoonful of lemon juice and two tablespoonfuls of cornstarch and you can put all of that in together mix it a little and then put it on medium heat and let it cook for between five to ten minutes depending on how quick it'll thicken and then take it off the, the, the burner. Okay, so we're going to be making uh, the cream we're going to be uh, using to fold the angel food cake into. So it's a pack of cream cheese. You could use uh, light cream cheese or the regular. I'm just going to break it into pieces here. And then we're going to be using two-thirds of a cup of sugar and two-thirds of a cup of evaporated milk or you could use half and half. So what we need to do now, we need to blend this until it's nice and creamy. Um, this is what it looks like inside. I'm going to turn on the blender um, and then I'll turn the camera off, turn it back on because it's probably going to be noisy while I'm making it. So I'm going to start to blend. Okay, like I was saying, you need to blend this until it's all nice and creamy, um, and then uh, I'll let you know the next step. Our blueberries now is all nice and uh, done. Um, I'm going to put it into this glass container again. You want it still to be all berries. You don't want to have it uh, all condensed because it's going to go over. It's going to be your sauce for your dish. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it into a water bath now because I want for this to be nice and room temperature for when we start to layer it in our trifle. So this is our blueberry sauce into a water bath. And uh, what we'll do next while we're waiting for this to go to room temperature, uh, we'll start folding our angel food cake cubes into our cream cheese mixture. Okay, so we'll start adding our angel food cake into this cream cheese and each time you add a piece just fold the cream cheese mixture so that we can incorporate all of these pieces together in here and get it all ready for one of our steps. This is what I mean by folding. You just take your spatula and just twist it until all of your angel food cake have got 
per of uh, the cream cheese mixture. Okay, we're coming to the last stages of getting all of the ingredients ready to make our trifle. So what we're going to be doing here now, I got a cup, you can use a cup, a cup and a half uh, of uh, whipping cream or thick whipping cream and two tablespoonfuls of icing sugar. So we'll put that together and then we're going to start blending it until it's nice and fluffy. So again, I'm going to be turning on my mixer, it's probably going to be noisy. So I'll just start blending it. Okay, this looks like it's nice and, and creamy here now. And we're at the last stages of getting everything prepared. So what I'm going to do now is get my trifle bowl and bring it on my table and start layering it to show you what it all looks like. Okay, this is the fun part. This is when we start layering, making a trifle. And I was just thinking to myself, I'm picking at those fresh blueberries while I'm, um, you know, between the takes of my video. And I'm wondering if there's any blue in my teeth. So let's hope that it's not. Okay, so let's get started layering. Okay, so what we're going to do, um, it'll be best if you use a nice uh, clear bowl. I'm saying a trifle bowl because this is usually um, what you would use. For that so we'll use half of our angel food cake mixture which is the cream cheese um, and we got the evaporated milk you can use half and half um, and also uh, whipped together and then layered or fold together so we got that layer first blueberry sauce is ready so what I'm going to do now is dump half of this over our angel food cake um, and cream cheese mixture. So it's going to look something like this. And I'm going to top it with a couple of fresh berries just in the middle, even though it's fresh berries we used to make our sauce. But I just want that little, when you bite into it, you would taste that berry. And then you top it with the whipping cream um, that we add with the whipping cream. And when I said icing sugar, it's not the already made icing sugar, it's uh, the powder. So you'd use that to mix with your whipped cream. So that's your layers. So what we're going to do now is repeat those layers with your angel food cake, your, your blueberry sauce, and the whipped cream. Okay, so we're going to be doing the next layer of our trifle. Now this trifle recipe was given to me by, by my sister-in-law that she makes for all of our family events. So I was able to ask her if she would share it with me so that I can bring it to our viewers because it's such a beautiful dessert that you can't just have one, one little bit. You've got to have a lot. So we're going to keep layering here. Okay, now we're going to go with our blueberry sauce mixture. And all of this is going to be posted on Bonita's Kitchen, the recipe, so that you, uh, you can follow the recipe if, uh, if my video is not clear or I'm going too fast for you. So that's the blueberry mixture. And now we're going to top with a few more fresh blueberries and then the rest of the whipped cream. Okay, so this is the last little bit of the whipping cream and now I'm going to top with our fresh blueberries. So you guys do try this uh, blueberry and cream trifle. Um, you'll never go back to anything else. This is blueberry season here in Newfoundland so um, we're just excited to bring this dish to you because it's got so much blueberry flavor in it. Okay, this ends our episode of blueberries and cream trifle. Um, we got to wait for two hours for it to set in the fridge because of letting it all um, come firmly together. So I would show you what it looks like in the plate, but uh, you know, it's best for you to make it yourself and you'll be able to see. Um, I will share this on my Facebook page for you, plus the video and recipe will be on YouTube. So um, please share this with your family and friends. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to Bonita's Kitchen and you will receive each time I post a new video. It'll be a, uh, a little clip come to you to let you know it's ready. And so once again, 
Thank you for joining me for Bonita's Kitchen and you have a wonderful day.